This is Kauai, an island full of untamed beauty and incredible colour. Its prehistoric landscapes are the oldest of the eight Hawaiian islands, over five million years. And today, much of Kauai is still rugged and difficult to access. And that's why you need one of those things. So I'm taking to the air. I'm going to meet my mate Kurt. He's been flying these helicopters on the island for over 35 years. Hey, Kurt, how are you, mate? How you doing? Good, bud. Let's get airborne and take some pickies, mate. What do you reckon? Okay, Talk about a bird's eye view, look at that. This place is picturesque in every sense. Tropical forests, plunging cliffs, and picture postcard beaches, all packed across just 25 miles. But I haven't come here for beaches or rainforests. I'm here to capture one of nature's most powerful displays. Waterfalls. The tough part is getting to them. They are hidden deep in the jungle, on top of remote mountain ranges, and along inaccessible coastline. It rains 350 days a year in Kauai, creating waterfalls of every size and type across the island. And there are so many, they are impossible to count. Yeah, mate, there must be about a million waterfalls on the island, isn't there, mate? Oh, they're all over the place. I heard a bit of a rumour that you got your aeroplane licence before your driver's licence. Is that correct? That's true. <laughs> of course, I'm a terrible driver, but... Uh, <laughs> Fine by me, as long as he can steer clear of the mountains. To get the shots I want, I need to get up close and personal with this landscape. Kurt's flying me over Waiali Ali Crater, near the centre of the island. This is actually the wettest spot on the planet. It gets 450 inches of rain a year. Look at that wall of water, that is unreal, mate. This waterfall has a real gallery feel to it. Mr Kurtz holding this pretty decent. Look at that. Jeez. Look at how the water fans out across the rock. I'm always looking for patterns like this when I shoot. It's not a bad way to make a living, Kurt, up, hang around up here, jeez. There are shots everywhere you look up here, but snapping them from a moving chopper is a real challenge. Now look at that! You're kidding me, mate! That is incredible! Look at that progression of those waterfalls down the mountains, incredible. We're tracking the falls south until they empty out here. One of the most spectacular waterfalls in the world. Stunning Manawaiapuna Falls are rarely visited because they sit on private land and can only be accessed by helicopter. If they look a little familiar, it's because a certain Steven Spielberg movie made them world famous and earned them their better known name, Jurassic Falls. Kurt, can you get me down? Sure can. Okay, we're gonna uh, stop here for about 25 minutes. What was that, 25 minutes? 25 minutes. Well, uh... You're kidding? I oh, wanted a couple of hours here, mate. Kurt is the only pilot with a permit to land here, but it comes with a strict time limit. So, mate, you've allowed me 25 minutes, not 26 minutes, to pack up my gear, walk to the falls, get a gallery shot, get back here and get airborne? Well, now it's only 24 and a half. <laughs> I've left my shutter open for longer than that amount of time. I've got to work real quick. Time's evaporating. Come on, Mr Cameraman, let's get out of here. It's also high noon, the toughest time to shoot. But I forget about it as soon as I lay eyes on this. 
Look at that, just coming down from the top of that lava. Oh. These falls are 368 feet high. As tall as a 30-storey building. That is unbelievable. But I can see I have my work cut out for me. All right, this is going to be really tough here. I've got burnt out waterfalls, black rocks, huge difference of exposure, and now only 11 minutes to get this shot. It's really bloody glary coming off that water. It's like a huge white reflector. On top of it, my camera's getting drenched. That spray is just murder. The longer I leave the shutter open for, the more spray's going to get on the lens. Of course, as we leave, the sun's gone in. I'm gutted I can't stay to make the most of this even light. But it just goes to show how many factors play into taking a cracker shot. As the sky opens up, we reach a place called the Valley of the Lost Tribe. Geez, those greens just pop, don't they? Every shade of green you can imagine. Look at that, it's sort of like a prehistoric vibe in here, mate. Keeping the camera steady up here long enough to press the shutter is brutal. But when I manage to get it right, it's magic. These formations are so ancient and so untouched, it's as though I travelled back millions of years to take this photo. And the pattern of the peaks naturally draws your eye down through the centre of the frame. Nepali translates to cliffs, and the ones along this coast soar as high as 4,000 feet. Really enchanting. Before returning, we pass one final destination. Epic Hanapu Arch. There's another great shot out there. Look at that archway. Helicopters aren't allowed to land here, but Kurt hovers so low, I feel like I'm standing on the beach. We hold it about here, Kurt. They'll love that. Have a look at the arch formation jutting into the Pacific. And the blues on the ocean floor are electric. Seeing the Kauai coast from the air is awesome. Good on you, Kurt. Thanks a million, right, mate. This is Queen's Bar, a tidal pool carved from volcanic rock. The waterfalls here are fed from a freshwater stream. Unreal! Putting the falls from a few different places down here, but the surf just isn't cooperating. Bloody sh That wave nearly ruined my camera and could have cost me the shot. I've got to get the hell out of here, mate. Time to move to drier ground. I check out a couple of new locations, but a sweeping wide shot just won't do these falls justice. In the end, I wind up not far from where I started. It's an interesting type of shot, isn't it? Even better, some clouds are rolling in, totally changing the whole scene. I know those waterfalls look beautiful in the background, but I'm waiting for a big wave to come through, just like that one there, to hit the rocks in the background and combine with the waterfall. Could make a crack shot. Here we go. Nice. Look at how intimate and peaceful this place is. I reckon this one's in the tin. But just when I'm ready to call it a day, I get a real surprise. I'm shooting along the Nepali coast. It's, it's stunning, isn't it? It's just absolutely stunning. Look at it. This may be one of my all-time favourite shots, the tidal waterfalls here at Queen's Bath. I love the contrast of the blue surf, the golden sunset and the black lava rock. 